Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Melissa with Freedom Homesteaders, and today I've got a treat for you. We're diving into the world of mouthwatering snacks with a twist, Dutch oven popcorn and delectable organic caramel corn. There's the popcorn we use, that's from Azure Standard. We like the yellow corn. They do have mixed colors, which is good too, but my kids like the yellow. Um, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of coconut oil in my pot. We use the Azure coconut oil. Really great savings with that. Um, I was using Spectrum. Now we just buy a case of that each month and it brings us through, saving a lot of money on that. Um, now I'm just gonna let my pot heat up. I've turned the heat up to high and it's an electric stove top. I've had to learn to heat things up by turning it on high and then lowering the heat. Otherwise it takes forever to heat up and I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> um, so right now, I'm gonna check and see if it's heated. If you've never tried making popcorn in a Dutch oven before, you're in for a real treat. Um, we don't really use the microwave. We do have a microwave. We don't use it that much, but we love our Dutch oven. So what I did was I changed up the way that, that it's made. So if you look Dutch oven popcorn up, at, on a recipe, you know, anywhere, you'll see that they tell you put the popcorn in and shake the Dutch oven and just keep shaking it um, until the popcorn finishes popping. But a Dutch oven is so heavy. So I came up with my own way to do this. Um, I use a spatula with the lid put over my Dutch oven and I leave a spatula or a spoon inside so that I can stir it around instead of constantly shaking the Dutch oven. I'm not that muscular. <laughs> it's a very heavy um, pot. So I'm just gonna wait till I hear it popping. Once I start hearing it popping, like not just one or two pops, a lot of pops, I lower the heat to medium high. You see that all that smoke coming out? When I see that, um, well, when you see that, that means your coconut oil is burning. Coconut oil has a smoke point and it's not as high as other things like avocado oil. You can actually use avocado oil for this too. It comes out really good. I only had coconut oil. So once you see it smoking, what I do is I just add a little bit more coconut oil into the side, stir it around. Um, also, if it's smoking excessively, you can lower the heat on it. You really don't want it to be smoking at all. But I usually do deal with smoking when I first started out. So now I'm just, I'm hearing it pop and um, I'm just stirring it around. And the reason you put the lid on is because the moisture is what creates the pop. Um, and not only that, but you don't want to be accosted by all these popping kernels flying at you. <laughs> um, so I'm putting more oil in, just because to me uh, it sounded a little dry. <clears throat> a little more smoke coming out, so I lowered the heat a little bit more. And then as you can see, the pan is filling up with all of the delicious popcorn. And now, so once the popping slows down, you're going to shut the heat off completely and let it finish popping. Um, see how nicely they came out? Um, so you're gonna shut the heat off, let it finish popping. You could even add a little bit more coconut oil in there if you want. So you just wanna keep stirring it every few seconds, maybe every 30 seconds. Sometimes I leave the lid on a little bit to get it to cook a little bit faster. Um, and then I'll stir it again. It should be about three to five minutes for the popcorn to finish popping. You wanna wait till you hear no more kernels popping, but you also wanna bear in mind that you don't wanna burn it. So you wanna make sure you keep stirring it 
If you need to add more oil, add a little bit more oil. All right, done. And it's so fluffy and delicious. Now I'm gonna take it. My mixing bowl is in the dishwasher right now, but I'm gonna take it and put it in a pot because I don't have my mixing bowl. Now I'm just putting half of it into the pot because when I make my caramel corn, I'm gonna put some with nuts and then I'm gonna make some without nuts. Just put a little bit of coconut oil in there, stir it around just to moisten it a little bit. Gonna add a little bit of salt, not too much salt as well after this. We usually use Redmond um, real salt, but I ran out and actually Azure was out of it last month. So we had to just buy salt from the grocery store. The popcorn is so good and I could not resist, <laughs> could not resist eating some. Um, and then I added a little more salt, stir it around. And now we're going to get into how to make the delicious caramel. We use the organic amber maple syrup from Whole Foods. You're going to need about a cup of that. You're going to need a dash of cinnamon. We get that from Azure too. And I just fill up my Whole Foods containers with it. You're going to need a little baking soda, just a little, not even a pinch, just like a coating over the top. And then you're going to need a pinch of salt. I have some pecans here that I'm also going to add in. And you're going to also need coconut oil as well. So now I'm putting in half a cup of maple syrup. Now I cut this recipe in half because I'm going to do nuts in one batch and no nuts in the other batch. But you just put the um, stove on. If you have a candy thermometer, you want the maple syrup mixture and the, the um, oil mixture to get to 240. But I just wait until it's bubbling and I'm pretty sure it's done. Now I put four tablespoons of coconut oil in. So that's half a cup of maple syrup, four tablespoons of coconut oil. All right, I actually put it on medium high heat and you can stir it a little bit. Try to mix the oil in with the maple syrup. And now I'm just stirring it a little bit. And you can pretty much tell when it's reached the heat that it, the temperature that it's supposed to get to because it's bubbling. Um, and, and it gets thicker as well. And that's when I take it off and I'll show you what that looks like. But if you do have a candy thermometer, you can put that in and it's supposed to measure 240. Okay, so now you can see how it's starting to bubble. And see that kind of foamy coating on the top? That's how I can tell when it's reached 240. Um, also, you'll get like a very distinct caramel smell from it. I just cook it a little bit longer than that just to be sure. And I turn off the heat since it's gotten to what it's supposed to get to. And now I'm going to add that pinch of salt. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of baking soda. Some recipes tell you a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. Um, for me, that was a little bit too much. We got a really nice coating and a really nice thickness with just like a, you know, a little bit of baking soda sprinkled on the top and mixed in. Um, I did add a little bit of cinnamon, as you saw. This is the baking soda. See how I just added a tiny bit? And look, it's already starting to get thick from the baking soda and 
Look at how great that looks. That's beautiful. Now I'm gonna come back and make another one of these for the other half of the popcorn without any nuts. But for right now, I'm gonna add a little bit of nuts. You could add more if you want. Depends how many, how many of you like nuts and how many don't. You don't even have to add the nuts. Um, so just to make clear, one more time, this is only for half of the popcorn that we cooked. If you wanted to coat all of the popcorn, just double it up um, and it'll be good. Okay, so here's the pot that I had with the half of the popcorn that we cooked earlier in the Dutch oven. And I'm just putting it in slowly and then I'm kind of stirring it as I put it in. Okay, I got all the nuts in there. Just trying to mix it around. Now with this, a lot of the um, maple syrup gathers, you know, the caramel mixture gathers on the bottom of the pot. So I just try to pick it up from the bottom of the pot as much as possible, get the, the new popcorn to soak it up. The popcorn that hasn't been drizzled yet to soak up the maple syrup down there. And I'm using a fork because I had just cooked dinner before I did this video and all of my tools are in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, but you know, usually I use my silicone spatula and it's really good at scraping up the maple syrup off the bottom. But my kids just wanted it right away, so I didn't worry about that. All right, so you get a baking sheet and parchment paper. We got this parchment paper from BJ's. A lot less expensive than the parchment paper at Azure, but just so you know, the Azure parchment paper is brown. This has been bleached. I'm not that um, worried about a little bit of bleached parchment paper, so I don't mind saving the money at Costco. Um, you're gonna take your caramel corn, which you've drizzled with the caramel, and you're just gonna lay it out. I'm using a tiny baking sheet. If you use a bigger baking sheet, you get a lot more, um, it'll be a lot crispier. But my big baking sheet is also in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, so what I did was I just went halfway through the cook time and I just stirred it around a little bit. So here I am putting it into the baking sheet and just making sure it's flat. You wanna try to get as much surface area exposed to the heat as possible. And look how delicious that looks. Now it's gonna go into the oven. Um, the directions say to put it in the oven at 240 for about 45 minutes. So I was cooking something else in the oven and I just wanted to get this popcorn done. So I actually put it in at 375 and it actually came out great. And it only took 25 minutes as opposed to 45 minutes at 240, which is what the instructions will tell you, 240 at 45 minutes. Um, it's delicious. As you can see, you have some nice coated pieces. You have the nuts. So now I'm just gonna take it and put it in a bowl for my family. And when I make this, you just can't stop eating it. It kind of tastes like Cracker Jacks. And it's just crunchy and sweet and salty. And um, it's got the nuts, the pecans, and it's a delicious treat. Thank you everybody for watching. If you have any comments, please post them below. And if you like my content and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks so much, bye-bye.